Hi everyone, I'm Andrew. Franklin High School recently hosted a group of students from Fuji City, Japan. These students are members of a group called Future Global Leaders. They're visiting to learn about, their, to learn about the English culture, practice their English, experience our education system, and build their leadership skills. In return, we got to make some new friends and learn about the Japanese culture. Our guests today are traveling here with students and they're here to share some of their experiences. Welcome, tell me she o kaski, Masaaki Ikoda, and Hisaka Nomoto. Thank you so much for visiting. <laughs> um, so, uh, first question. Is this your first time traveling to the U.S.? Uh, actually, it's sixth time to visit the U.S. And my first impression of the U.S. is diversity. Really? Mm. That's great to hear. Of cultures. And, um, and based on what you've seen here at Franklin High School, do you notice any key differences <laughs> between American schools and Japanese schools? Uh, not about the school, but the uh, high school students. It seemed to me that American high school students are much more mature, not only looks, but also mentally. And they sound really in independent. That's great to hear. And if you could apply something we do here at um, Franklin High School that you could apply back at home, what might that be? Um, I think we share the similarity of the lesson style. Like we, we also use the ICT. Mm -hmm. But uh, we we want to back home to the uh, active lesson style. That's okay. great. Um, and what do you think um, American students could learn from Japanese students? Mm -hmm. So um, cooperativeness, since all the students in Japanese high school students have to join the club activity, mm -hmm. and some. Uh, courtesy. Mm -hmm. And what do you feel is the biggest takeaway from your students from this experience here? Uh, I want them to learn how important to break one's shell mm -hmm. and be positive through communication and through this experience. Japanese high school students are too afraid of making mistakes and tend to hesitate of communicating. So I want my class students to be positive in communicating and don't afraid of making mistakes. And that's absolutely great to hear that we are accepting of those kind of things. And are there any like fun customs or, expre or expressions you have learned while visiting? Uh, <laughs> I found it fun that we don't need to insert train tickets when we get um, out of the station mm -hmm. and uh, Almost of the toilet uh, automatically flush mm -hmm. when I unlock the door. Oh. <laughs> That's surprising. <laughs> well, I would like to thank you with great um, attributes for coming by to the studio with us. And we here wish you have a safe trip home. And for all of us here at um, Panther News, we thank you for watching. And to our guests, how do you guys say goodbye in Japanese? Sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye.